Hello, my name is Yannis Dizogl, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an attractive button. And by clicking this attractive button, you will be able to navigate to a different layer. So let's get started. I'm just going to go to Menu and select Project, and I'm just going to create a new project. Let's close the previous one. Yeah, let's do save. Okay, the next thing I need to do is go here. Let's delete these pro layers. Just gonna go to File, select New. Just gonna select Create. I'm gonna hide the background layer. I'm gonna go to here, Custom Shapes. I'm gonna select the shape, drop down list. I'm just going to select the shape of my choice. Uh, let's select something different. Okay, let's select that one. Then I'm going to go to the fill, click on gradient, click here, and let's choose something else. Different color. Green will do. Click OK. Oops. Let's just create a new set there. I can click and drag that one downwards, delete it. I'm just going to double click here. Let's use blue. This will do. Okay. That's for the green. Let's use something lighter. That's better. Okay. I'm just going to click OK. And now I can click and drag to create my shape. I'm going to double click here on the text. I'm just going to type here link. I'm just going to double click here on the side to generate the layer style. I'm going to put bevel and boss. Let's change the settings a little bit. And I'm just going to put stroke as well. Let's change the color of the stroke. Okay, I'm happy with this. So now what I need to do, I need to right click here and select duplicate layer. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to rename this layer to hover. I'm going to double click here on the side and slightly change my style. So I'm just going to change the color of the stroke to something darker. Let's click OK. And let's click OK again. OK. So if I use the Move tool, I will be able to see the difference. So this is the hover, this is the link. Hover, link. OK. The next thing I need to do is add a text. I'm going to use the text tool and I'm just going to click here to type main menu. Let's move, use the move tool. I'm just going to type it, move it here. I'm going to use the text tool again so I can actually edit the color of the text. This will do. OK. And I'm just going to double click here. I'm just going to put hyphen. I'm going to type uh, link. And again, I can actually put some styles here. I can put bevel. I can put stroke. Let's put green. Oh, maybe yellow. No. No, let's stick to blue. Okay. Let's go to bevel here. Let's go and change the size a little bit. Well. OK, that's better. I'm just going to click OK now. I'm going to right click here. I'm just going to select Duplicate Layer. 
and I'm going to double click the text and instead of link I'm just going to call this hover and I'm going to click and drag the link above the link and then the hover above the hover so as you can see here this is my hover position and this is my link position so now I'm happy with this what I'm going to do in fact let's do the hover I'm just going to double click here and change the color slightly make it a bit brighter okay let's use the move tool okay so I'm gonna hide the link I'm going to let's delete the all the other previous pictures here let's exit huh okay I'm gonna go to file select export and png click save i'm gonna now reveal the link and hide the hover i'm gonna go to file select export png and click save now i'm gonna go to my back to my construct 3 i'm gonna add a new layer Add the layer layout only. I'm just gonna call it level one. I'm gonna rename the top layer to main menu. Okay. With the main menu layer selected, I'm going to right-click, select insert new object, and this object I'm going to insert is sprite. I'm just gonna call this uh, BTN main menu click insert click once here i'm just going to use this tool here to load my images i'm going to hold the shift key down to highlight both pictures and click open so i have imported both images now i'm going to hold the control key down my keyboard and use the wheel on my mouse to zoom in and zoom out with the first frame selected i'm going to click on the crop tool to remove any excess and i'm going to do the same with the frame number one click the crop tool to remove the excess so this is the original position uh, this is the hover position can you see here there's a little bit slightly different so i'm going to go to the animation icon here i'm just going to change the speed to zero because i don't want my animation to play going to exit this window now and I'm going to hold the shift key down I'm going to reduce the size of my button okay so I'm happy with the size what I need to do now I need to right click select insert new object scroll down and select the mouse object and click insert and the mouse object is added now the next thing we need to do is double click on the level one going to right click select insert new object it's going to be a text and I'm just going to call this txt level one oops level one no space allowed I'm going to click here once and I'm just going to change the label here the text level one and I'm just going to change that to 90. Yes, here you will be able to put spaces, it's your label. And as you can see, because I've changed to 90, I won't be able to see level 1. But if I increase the size, the size of my text, uh, text box, it will actually re reveal the content. The next thing we need to do now is go back to the main menu to make sure everything is all right. And finally, we need to go to the event sheet. I'm going to double click on the event sheet and I'm going to add my first event. The first event I've got is the mouse event. So on cursor is over an object. Which object? We need to select the object. The object is BTN main menu. Then I'm going to click done. So when the mouse cursor is over this, but this button, this uh, object, I want something to happen. So the action is this object set frame double click that to frame number one i click done then i'm going to add another action it's going to be system action i'm going to scroll right down to the bottom and double click wait 
And I'm just going to change that to 0 0.1. Click Done. Finally, I'm going to go back to Action. And then I'm going to double click again my BTN main menu. And then I'm going to select Set Frame and let the default zero. So what will happen is when somebody moves over with a mouse on this object, then it's going to go to frame number one. As soon as I'm going to, it's going to remove the mouse cursor from the object within 0 0.1 seconds, it will basically go back to zero two, uh, back to frame uh, number two, zero. Sorry. So if I click play now, if I hover over, if I move away, hover over, move away, hover over, move away, as you can see, I've got the interaction here. The next thing I need to do is move, make, sh make sure that when somebody clicks on it, it will take me to level one. For this, we need to add a new event. I'm going to add a new event. It's going to be a mouse event. And this, in this case, we're going to select on object clicked. I'm going to double click here. This option is a left click. And then I'm going to select the object, which is the BTN main menu. Let's click done. So when somebody click on this object, I want something to happen. I'm going to go to system. And then I'm going to type the word go. And I'm going to double click on the go to layout. Then from the drop down list, I'm just going to select level one and then click done. So if I press play now, if I hover over, if I move away, I can see my interactivity here. And if I click once, it will take me to the level one. And this is how you create an attractive interactive button by using Construct 3 as well as Photopia. Hope you learned something new today. Hope I'm going to see you in the next video tutorial. Bye for now.